Hey guys, it's Danny, and welcome to day 23 of the Food Styling Challenge. Today we are talking all about how to make your salads stay picture perfect for a good long time. Working with salads can be an incredible experience. They're so beautiful and they're so vibrant in color that they really are a beautiful thing to photograph. But they don't come without their challenges. And so some of the tips and tricks we have for you today are going to help you counter some of those difficulties in working with this kind of product. Tip number one is to start with a mashed potato base. I know we've talked about mashed potatoes before, but mashed potatoes shine when it comes to salads. Salads really start to deflate as they get piled up on top of each other. So if you can work with a base that makes it to where you don't have to have as much salad covering each other, that can really help it stay fresh and vibrant in there. And it helps it because you're able to cover it with water uh, water soaked paper towels and you're going to reach most of it to keep it cool. Whereas if it's all underneath in the bottom of your salad bowl, it's going to start to deteriorate and start to press and your salad is going to start to sink down into the bowl and eventually it's going to look like you don't have enough salad in your bowl. Tip number two is use a potato. Now this might seem like kind of a weird tip, but if you don't use a mashed potato base and you just have a couple things that you're struggling with on your salad, maybe it's in a really shallow bowl and your tomatoes keep rolling inside of your salad greens. Use a little teeny piece of t potato and shove a toothpick into it, just like we do in some of our other videos for soups and things like that. This allows you to have a base for that tomato to stick onto and it kind of allows it to float in suspension without crushing the greens. Tip number three is shock your greens. When you get your greens home from the grocery store, what you're going to want to do is throw them into an ice bath. Sounds pretty violent, but it's really not. All you need to do is add a couple cups of ice into your sink or into a bucket of nice cold water and then toss all your greens in there and let them soak. Better yet, go ahead and cut them and do that. That way they can really start to absorb that water. Now one trick about cutting your greens when you're going to put them into there is to cut them under the water versus on your countertop with a cutting board. And the reason for doing that is that when they're cut, they're gonna suck in whatever it is that they're exposed to. So if you cut them in air, they're gonna suck in air. If you cut them in water, they're gonna suck in water. Now this is something that was proven out in the floral industry of all things. Um, and so if you do this with your greens, it helps them just perk up just a little bit faster and really get all that good water in there to where they look really bright and vibrant. Our last tip for today is make sure you dress your greens. Now the important thing when you're dressing your greens is to do it in stages. Greens will start to deteriorate as soon as you start working with any kind of liquid on top of them. That includes salad dressing, that includes putting glycerin drops on it, anything like that is going to start breaking it down. So what you want to do is style everything dry and then when you're ready to shoot, you can start spritzing it with either glycerin water combo if you want some water bead droplets on there or you can use some little pipettes and add in salad dressing in just a few places. Now, most of the time if you're doing this and you're gonna do like a pour shot, you don't really need to cover it in salad dressing. You just need the appearance of it looking wet. So you can use something like glycerin or even just water in a spray bottle to just give it a little bit of moisture so it doesn't look dry and then just start pouring your salad dressing on as you're shooting. Thanks for watching guys. I hope that you found that helpful. If you did, leave me a comment below and let me know. Tag a friend who might need this information and be sure to subscribe. Click the link in the description box to subscribe for instant updates and you'll get one of our best freebies. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye.